Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So I had a thought last night that would make for a really good video. I'm currently trying to learn stick shift, so I just had a perspective that I thought might be helpful to share with you guys, and that's automatic versus manual. Me personally, all I know how to drive is automatic. So when I really thought about how this comes to play with your mindset in your life is when you're driving in an automatic mode, when you're coasting, imagine your vehicle getting you to where you want to be. When you are in automatic, you're kind of just coasting. You're not really putting in too much work. You're just trying to get to where you want to be with very minimal effort. Now, there's not too much to really talk about automatic mode, which mean, which is just a general idea of coasting, not really having to put in too much work. You're not going to really feel like, not going to really feel intentional about it because it was easy versus manual mode where you kind of had to put a little bit more thought and intention and also with automatic mode, the vehicle controls itself, so you don't necessarily have to do too much. Where in a manual vehicle, you control the vehicle and it is your responsibility to get that vehicle to where it needs to go if you want to get somewhere. And you have to be intentional because you have to manually switch the gears in order to get to your destination. I know, car reference, but... It just came to me last night and I thought it was a really good perspective so I just thought I'd share. So when you are navigating through your life and your journey, you want to picture yourself in manual mode where you have to put a little bit more intention in order to get to where you want to go. And by intention, I want you to think of the, dis the um, different gears as things that you need to learn in order to get you to get you going. So that might be discipline. Get yourself going in first gear. The number one thing I think you should first learn is discipline and keeping yourself responsible and holding accountability for getting the things done that you know need to get done. The next gear might be persistence or consistency. You know, keeping up on what you're trying to learn, what habits you're trying to pick up, the growth that you're trying to see in your life and being persistent with that. So once you get to first gear, you get that discipline down, then you go to second gear. You go down to second gear and that's consistency. So once you've mastered first gear, once you mastered second gear, you then move to third gear. And whatever trait that you're trying to pick up, no matter what it is, I know car reference is crazy. <laughs> but it works. So you need to think of your top five skills that you're trying to learn and accomplish when starting this journey and imagine yourself and put them in each gear and first being most important to you or the one that is most crucial to master and then filter them. You know, what's then, what is next important to you? Second gear, what is next? Third and so forth. And once you really start to master that muscle memory of one, two, three, four, five, six, and become very structured and disciplined, you're going to see the results that you're putting so much effort in. You're going to see the fruits of your labor someday. But it's like really be intentional with what it is that you want to accomplish in this life because nobody's going to get you there besides yourself. You will have support along the way, yes, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's your responsibility. You are responsible for your own life, what you wanna make out of it, and who you want to become. I don't feel like automatic mode is as rewarding, and it's not, because driving automatic, it can be boring. You don't really have to implement too much. You don't have to do too much thinking. It, everything is done for you. You don't want to live a life like that where you're just coasting and not really taking control of it and really mastering the skills that you need to master to see 
these results that we're all striving for at the end of the day. So when you think of automatic mode versus manual, you want to live life manually. And I know when you drive manual and you learn it, it's a lot more rewarding. It's fun changing the gears of your own car, feeling that adrenaline, feeling like a race car driver. And maybe that's just my passion for cars talking, but it made sense in a way for me to really paint a clear picture on what needs to be done and how you're going to get there so i thought it'd make for a really good perspective to share with my channel and share with my audience so if you feel like this was helpful i'm so glad just to give you a clear picture and a clear scenario on how you're going to take responsibility for your life you're taking responsibility for this vehicle you have to make sure that it's working correctly you have to know what you're doing in order to get this vehicle to the de destination that you're trying to go to and between that distance and your destination you have to consciously be aware of each and every intention on making the right moves, knowing what skills you need to master, what challenges to overcome in order to get yourself there because it could break down. You don't want the car to break down halfway there because you'll never reach the destination. And if you don't know what you're doing, it's going to be very difficult to get to that point. And this journey is not hard. All it is is tons and tons and tons of self-work. But just know that at the end of the day, it's going to benefit you. It's going to be challenging. It's going to be tough. But once you accept all of these obstacles that come along the way, you then know that once you've reached a certain point or passed that first milestone, that your hard work is truly paying off. You see the results of you putting so much effort in every single day, overcoming mental thoughts, overcoming obstacles that life throws at us. You feel accomplished, you have a sense of confidence in yourself because you're handling these things. You're not letting them overpower you. You are standing tall in who you are and very determined to get to where you want to be because you know that that's what you deserve and that is how you're going to get there. So live your life more intentionally, more in manual mode. Understand the top five traits that, or skills, um, that characteristics that you need to learn in order to get your vehicle going. That's the only way that you're going to be intentional with your everyday life, everyday living, everyday choices, decisions, whatever the case may be. And just start. Don't be anxious. I know I've tried driving manual a couple times. It's made me very anxious, and especially just trying to get that, that footing, trying to get that muscle memory down. But with anything, with repetition, with practice, it's going to become second nature, and you're going to master this new skill. You're going to master all these characteristics that you're trying to, or just struggling with overcoming in this very moment. But give yourself grace, because... We are human at the end of the day. It just takes practice. Keep it in your mind. It just takes practice. You will get the hang of it. You will learn. You will master it. All you have to do is stick with it and just be okay being a beginner in the beginning. You have to be okay with that. You have to accept that, that you're not going to be perfect or an expert right out the gate give yourself grace for that but don't give up on yourself and you keep going so that way you are able to master it you are able to overcome and move forward that is all for this video i truly hope that was helpful to you guys and super helpful to me that is all for this video i'll see you guys in the next one if you like it please give it a thumbs up and if you like my content don't forget to subscribe for more bye guys Mwah.